Welcome back to the channel guys. We got more MJ for you today. We got one video up from Michael Jordan. It was his top 50 plays yes. of all time. M. Jordan, MJ's history went through that kind of seeing what, you know, his top tier. But you guys were saying it wasn't top tier enough. <laughs> yeah. Here you guys were saying we got to do the historic Bulls mixtape from the Jordan Vault. I hope this is the right video. <laughs> Uh, you guys, um, didn't I didn't really see any uh, expressed links in the in the comments there that you left saying that we got to do this one. So um, hopefully this is the right one. But nonetheless, we're gonna get to see some Jordan highlights. So you know that's not a not a bad thing, right? <laughs> yes. You were, you know, I think you were saying the last one. You were pretty surprised by how things, you know, seeing a difference in Jordan versus some of the other highlights that you've seen throughout your yeah, life. Yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> he's a beast. So there you go. You got it summed up straight straight from the horse's like mouth. Not saying that you're a horse, by the way. <laughs> I don't even know why they why do they use that term. I have no clue. Uh, I feel bad now. Well, Yay. you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I, well, I don't even know how to keep a straight face after you just did that. But <laughs> anyways, let's get it going. Jordan historic Bulls mixtape, the Jordan Vault. Let's go. To to win. That's all I live for, really. When you lose, you know, you're easily forgotten. You know? I don't think anyone would want to go to their grades forgotten. I'm not here campaigning for the best player in the world or in the history. I'm not saying that, you know, because everybody plays differently in different eras. It's all the, the talk about the Chicago Bulls is about Michael Jordan, the outstanding rookie from North Carolina. You know, coming on this level is a brand new star for me, and I have to start from the bottom and work my way up. So, uh, yeah, I think the hard work is ahead of me, and I'm, I'm willing to take on that, that challenge and go out and play the best I can.
play basketball. You know, I don't play conservative. I play all out. That was so crazy. Like, I've seen that shot before, but I you know, just obviously watch more highlights. You get pick up more things. And it's just so crazy seeing that one shot where he comes up and he's already up in the air. And the defender like literally comes across and he's going to block it if he lets it go. Yeah, but he George just holds it like longer. Waits for him to, come waits for him to by. go by. And then on the way down, he's yeah. like... And that's why you could see the defender, like he's smacking the ground, being like, I played that Too so early. perfectly, yeah. and I couldn't stop him. And yeah. like, you know how frustrating that must have been, right? Yeah. Of a passing of the torch, Magic Johnson, to you? Oh, without a doubt. Everybody knew that it was coming. It's just when. When, when was he going to be ready to, to receive it and take it? And boy, did he receive it and take it. <laughs> I think he's talking to uh, Matumbo. He closed his eyes on that, but still went in. He's all smiling. Oh, my God! Crazy how much better he was than everybody else. Like yeah, he just he looks so insane. much better. Insane. He's just replicating like the same dominance over and over again. Yeah, and um, you had mentioned the championship aspect, right? And somebody made a good point that I didn't remember. Um, and uh, I wasn't sure if it was the case. Anyways, he remember how he won six championships in eight years? They said. But the other component of that is he was retired for the other two. So, so he really won six champion, yeah. So he really won six championships in six, six years, years that he was playing. Yeah, that's insane. So the two years that they didn't win, he wasn't playing. Yeah, one thing that I also find so funny is that, like, because obviously I've known who he is my whole life, but I've never really sat down like we talked about prior to the last 
um, video we did and that documentary that we watched and I actually really like watched it right yeah. so growing up like I had all this Jordan stuff like Jordan shoes and like shirts and stuff with this logo of him just like flying through the air and it's funny because he literally looks like that <laughs> that's exactly what he does when he's like hanging going to the net yeah they, they got that logo they yeah. they like that Every, is him in a nutshell yeah I mean everything about him though even watching this like one of the cool things that I'm seeing him relative to other players is all his facial expressions <laughs> they're so priceless you know yeah. like he's got his tongue out like even right here you can see yeah. like his tongue is like it's blurred but you can still see his like facial expression yeah. tongue out and that's classic Jordan but the other things you know too that he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know it's like he's just yeah, or like jumping over three people like yeah exactly so I think that's part of his brand as well right yeah I love it <laughs>
Jackson plays. I tell you, it's he's like a, just like a Puma or something like that. Amazing. We knew he was coming back, and now we know when, and the news is music to the ears of Bulls fans. Michael Jordan will be in uniform for the Chicago Bulls, and Michael summed up his decision to return in two words, I'm back. Today, an artist returns to his true canvas, the hardboard courts of the NBA. Michael Jordan is back. So I don't know if maybe they're doing it on the timeline here. Like I don't, I didn't pay attention to that because they did start with his rookie year, True. and now they're doing. You know, he retire or no, he's, back. he's coming back with 45 on the jersey from twenty three to forty five. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's where we're at with the timeline. Yeah. are strong and lots of guys have skill and only one guy has this level of artistry. Shot, game winner, NBA championship. Wow. 
What a way to finish. It's crazy. Honestly, with that many like epic play videos of him, you'd think that he never had a bad game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the quality of those highlights, you know, it was 17 minutes of just epic highlights. It wasn't even including Washington, where he went yeah. to play after the fact, right? And like you were saying, just the elite level of what mm-hmm. those plays look yeah. like. I mean, I know this is kind of stupid to say that after watching like a highlight video, I'm making a decision on something or I've been convinced of something. But in the last video that we posted, I, I think the title we had was something like LeBron and MJ, who's the GOAT type yeah. thing. And I had said in that video that I felt like, you know, MJ probably takes that title, right? And a lot of you guys in the comments were saying, you know, it's not close and blah, blah, blah. And like, I, I think when you just see some of these highlights and the way he was doing it, the artistry, quote unquote, and the consistency and the the punctuation of the big plays at the big moments and, you know, the passion, all those things comprise, I think, yeah, you know, it's hard to make the argument against him being the GOAT in any way because, you know, LeBron's great and we talked about him in the statistical components he's going to probably have, you know, being top five assists all time and have the most points of all time and being, you know, even up there with his rebounds and as well. So and he's going to statistically do something no other player has probably ever done. But it just he, he doesn't do it the way that Jordan is doing it. Yeah, he doesn't do sure. it like, like we were saying where you look at Jordan versus the other, all the other NBA players at the time. And it's like, he's, he's like here and everybody else is here. Yeah. Whereas, you know, now, you know, I would say there's a throw, you know, LeBron has been dominant, but he's never been the dominant as dominant as MJ was. Especially not for like consistently for as long. Yeah. And I think you could even argue that our other players maybe before MJ that have a better argument at it. Um, you know, that were like Bill Russell. I think he has 18 championships when he played for the Celtics. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a time when the Celtics were just dominating everybody. But yeah. um, I mean, you're also to take into consideration, right? Like, there's been like different eras exactly. of basketball and the way the game was played and stuff like that. Exactly. Too, right. So. But I think you know, like we said, the, like you just see him like making these cuts and then like switching in the air. And, like, oh yeah, the he's defensive plays. Like, superhuman. And, I'm like, yeah, like, he looks like a superhero out there. Yeah. Like, you know. So uh, you enjoy yeah. our. Oh, I was gonna say now I want to go watch Space Jam. <laughs> We, so you said uh, there's been a lot of things that we're going to watch now. So the list of... Have my list We're going to have to start a movie reaction channel at yeah. some point. Anyway, so you enjoyed it? I really enjoyed it. It was great. Cool. Well, that means it was a great recommendation. So thank you guys for yes, that. We appreciate yes. it. They're always fire. And uh, if you got any more, let us know in those comments. I was thinking maybe Vince Carter, Colby yeah. Bryant. Maybe those are two, two names. If you have good links for, for maybe something that we should do... Uh, for those two players hit them, hit them down low and let us know and uh, we can go from there but that's it from us for today we'll be back tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you next time